Dick Biondi may have grown up in New York, but he found his groove in Chicago. It's been just an absolutely amazing career that he had. The king of the oldies, Biondi was an icon, introducing listeners to Elvis, Little Richard, and more. The Four Seasons, Frankie Valli famously talked about how there would be no Four Seasons if it wasn't for guys like Dick Biondi. Back in those days, DJs got to pick their own records, and Dick had a good ear for hearing you know what the kids, what we kids wanted to hear back then. He's also widely credited as the first DJ to play the Beatles in the United States. From his studio in Chicago, Biondi was heard across much of the country and parts of Canada on the 50,000 watt WLS radio. People everywhere knew who Dick Biondi was. His departure from WLS is still the subject of urban legend. Yeah, he allegedly told a dirty joke never happened. What happened was he was complaining about too many commercials on his nine to midnight show. And he got in a fight with the sales manager, literally a fight. Uh, they, they came to blows one night in the station and Dick was told, just go home and cool down. He wasn't really fired, but Dick's pride, I think, got in the way and he wasn't going to come back. So he took that as the end of his initial run here in Chicago. After a stint in Los Angeles and other markets, Biondi came back to Chicago. And in 1984, he was the signature voice of the oldies radio station WJMK for more than 20 years. It was a comfort factor to hear him. Everything else changed in the world except the way Biondi did a radio show. This is the Wild Eye Trillion, Dick Biondi. Dick Biondi is a unique force of nature. Roses are red, violets are blue. If I don't read a commercial, the boss says I'm through. A newly completed documentary, the Dick Biondi film is just now premiering. The film's director and producer saying online, thank you for being the kind of man who made a difference. Thank you for helping so many artists live their dreams and for inspiring countless disc jockeys to follow in your path. I think that's what sustained him on the air for 67 years. That's unprecedented. Dick Biondi, a man who worked into his 80s at more than 15 radio stations, stepped away from the microphone in 2017 due to health problems. That was sad because I know Dick would have wanted to come on and do a farewell to all his listeners and thank everybody, uh, but it was not to be. He died June 26. Dick Biondi was 90. He truly loved getting behind a microphone and talking to people and spreading positivity and energy and happiness and playing this music. Uh, it really, it's a, it, it was a great life. Uh, and a great career that he had. Sean Lewis, WGN News.